Atletico Madrid. The capital club that in recent years has challenged Real and Barcelona in Spain and beaten the best in Europe. This week sees their second Champions League final in three seasons. We might not have high-profile players that are known the world over, but we do have players that give everything for the team. I think we're a club with strong values, hard work, fighting spirit, sacrifice, hope and belief. I think the best word to define Atletico Madrid is team. Team spelt with capital letters to illustrate the whole meaning of that word. It's a group based on solidarity that is very consistent, that unites the technical team, the fans and the players. We play the way Simeone tells you because we know that this is the best way for us to win. A former club captain, Diego Simeone has transformed Atletico Madrid. The Argentinian captured the Spanish League title two years ago, one of five trophies since his arrival in 2011. I think he's the main pillar of this club. You have the players, the technical team, the directors, and everyone else that helps us move forward. But since El Cholo arrived, you can see that Atletico Madrid's mentality is totally different to before, when he wasn't here. It's clear that the whole football side of things is basically run by him. He's someone that understands the club's values, which he knew from his time here as a player and which he now applies as a coach. So much so that he's now become those values and there's no doubt the club has improved noticeably since his arrival. It's everything he's done, because he's the person behind the growth, especially for his work with the players and all the different aspects of the club. He's changed it from top to bottom. He's brought solidarity and control to the team, and that has been backed up by the results. So for me, the Atletico Madrid we have today wouldn't exist without Diego Pablo Simeone. I think Atletico Madrid knows what it wants and how it wants it. It's that personality that Johan Cruyff gave Barca and what De Stefano gave to Real Madrid. So yes, we know what Atletico Madrid wants and Simeone has given that model to us. I think that it's a gift he has and he's possibly one of the very few coaches that has it. He has a way of conveying emotion in whatever he says. He might make mistakes, but we're prepared to die for him because of how he communicates. He makes you believe in him, and at the end of the day, you know you die for him. Solnieth has been one of Atletico's key performers this season. And the 21-year-old midfielder has been rewarded with a call-up to the initial Spain squad preparing for Euro 2016. The truth is that my progression within the club has always been very positive. This club means everything to me, because everything has gone so well here, ever since I was little, and through all the different stages with so many great people. The coaches I've had have always looked after me, they've protected me and helped me. This is very much a family club, and what you're seeing with the first team is also happening in the youth sides. This is also very important, that everything moves together, and that there's no division between the first team and the young players. Saul is a player that has been with us for many years, and we've all been expecting to see his qualities gradually shine through. And we do think he's a complete player, with amazing talent, someone that will explode onto the scene like he already has, and someone who still has a lot to prove, because he has huge potential. I'm convinced he'll be an extremely big player not only in Spain, but the whole world. Milan will host this second All Madrid Champions League final. Atletico keen to avenge their defeat to Real in 2014. I think it's something historic, because no city has ever had two teams in the final. So you can imagine what it means to do it twice. But there's also something else. I think Spanish football, and Madrid in particular, can be very proud of what these two teams have achieved. Every club has its own brand of football, and this is what leads it to success or failure. 
Not every team can play the same, because that would be boring. I think we play good football and stick to our job. I think it's wonderful to watch a club playing beautifully on the pitch, and we must try to beat our rivals by doing so. I think rivalry exists in every sport in every city. There's always rivalry when you have two or more teams in the same city, but I think it's healthy. We now have an opportunity to face one another again in the Champions League final, and we'll both look after our own interests so that we can give our best to be better than our rivals. It's not that we deserve it, but it's because people have worked hard to win it. And now we have our chance, because we've been getting better for many years. But we haven't won it yet. If you win it, you create history. If you don't win it, you're just another team. We want to create history.